everybody, Andrew McLaughlin, Let's Roll Off-Road. Today we're working on the ESAB Rebel Tough Jeep build here for SEMA. Today we're installing the Let's Roll Off-Road Sport Cage. We build these cages to add additional safety to the factory cage. We use a through-the-dash design to help spread the load of the cage throughout the entire vehicle. We also add more protection for the rear passengers. These cages are built out of inch and three-quarter 120 wall DOM. So they're very strong. When we build our cages, we measure the sticks of tube, we put them in the bender, make our proper bends, and then we'll notch the tube. From there, we'll start tacking the cage together, making sure everything fits properly before we do our final welding and final cleaning. We believe the Let's Roll Off-Road Sport Cage is better quality than anything else on the market because we're custom tailoring it to your Jeep. We're also putting the tubes exactly where they need to go we're not sacrificing time for strength. The material we use, the inch and three quarter, 120 wall DOM, is about the strongest material you can use for a cage this size. So here in the shop, we use a Heliarc 281 made by Esob, as well as our Caddy TIG. Our Caddy TIG is actually portable, so we can take that out in the field with us. TIG welding, also known as Heliarc welding, is a process that takes a tremendous amount of coordination Oftentimes you have to use both hands and your foot to run the machine. The benefit of TIG welding is it allows us to weld to different materials, steel and aluminum. We use the TIG welding process here in the shop where we're welding aluminum or 4130 chromoly steel. Our machine's water-cooled, so it keeps the heat out of that torch, which can get very, very hot. We can also run an air-cooled version if this machine's too big to fit into the places we need to get to.